Hello everyone, Manny here, and we're playing Haiti, which is, I mean, it's kind of like a puzzle platformer action stealth game, like, what's the game called, uh, Splinter Cell. The only difference is that uh, your main character is kind of eye candy. And, you know, I was playing it a decent bit yesterday because, I mean, it's not a bad game. It gets a bit frustrating at the end, kind of like Dark Souls, but without all the action. But what it kind of seemed like is that they had a pretty cool stealth action game, but uh, it's kind of boring, especially at some parts, like a little bit later. Uh, it's kind of boring, so... I think they went with the eye candy to, I don't know, maybe spice it up a little bit. Regardless, it plays like an old school uh, Splinter Cell game. Where you kind of got to like pick yourself up. <laughs> so you, you have to pick yourself up all the way. Uh, and then like crouch. So it'd be like crouch one, up, and then jump. Pretty cool. Um, I believe fall damage is kind of like a problem in this game, uh, but from the look of, uh, Haiti, I don't know if it's Haiti or Heidi, I guess I'm gonna say Haiti, but from the look of Haiti, uh, she looks like she's made out of plastic. She looks like she's made out of plastic and silicone. So, anyways, like I said, um, it's just one of those weird games, like... At this point, it doesn't really seem like too much because we're kind of uh, just like going through the motions. But after this like initial level, man, it gets it gets pretty intense. And again, I'm not really too sure how much of it I'm gonna play. Um, a, I don't know how well these uh, staggering visuals are gonna go over on my channel. And I don't really want to offend anybody, uh, but I kind of did want to play this because it is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to even lie. Like, the concept is its pretty cool. I enjoy it. Oh, I don't think we need to be going here yet. So, basically, it's kind of like Metroid. Uh, I don't like that term, Metrovania. Because there's only like one to two games that really captured what that means. Uh, shit, I'd probably call it like, I guess, I don't know, because Metroid Prime was kind of like that too, so. But basically what you want to do is you want to kind of backtrack on yourself as you get more tools. And then try to see if you can, uh... Yeah, find new places, new key cards, stuff like that. Now, it has, like... Yeah, that opened up that over there. Now, like, it has, like, a, a save system, but it's, like, kind of a punishing save system. Uh, okay. And I gotta remember to loot the chest, man. Like, I keep thinking that it's gonna do, like, a Fallout thing, and like auto loot the chest for me but nope no auto loot um do we need to go this way we might need to go this way i think <laughs> um yeah maybe this way yeah i think we're getting it now But like you can see, like it on the surface, it seems kind of you know base, but I mean it's it's pretty deep, man. And I mean I'm gonna say the jiggle physics are rather realistic, man. Rather realistic. Kind of remind me of somebody called Pudding Chan, but that's neither here nor there. Let's just keep going through the motions, and then hopefully we can get like. A bit of a checkpoint, oh man. So, like, I'm not really too sure how much uh, I'm actually gonna come out with these 
more if I'm gonna even keep going with them. So if you do enjoy it and you wanna see more, uh definitely let me know in the comments, cause like I said, like uh I'll I'll play it for myself because I just like the aspect of the like the puzzle. Uh, jumping. Oh shit, we took some fall damn, we took a lot of fall damage. Oh, that's the problem. We gotta be careful, man. Cause like I I don't think you heal. Oh snap! Actually, oh that's what we were supposed to do, wasn't it? Oh man, slipping. But right, you learn, man. You learn. Cause like I think you can get yourself in a situation uh, that you can't like get out of. I think we're gonna have to jump it, man. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Alright, we got some ammo. Alright, now we gotta make it back. And I mean, I, I hate to say it, but the jumping, it leaves a bit to be desired. Um, the camera, it does have a habit of moving. What it is, is that Haiti jumps to where your cursor is, the little white dot that we can see, but like sometimes it becomes like leaps of faith almost for you to because you won't be able to see Haiti too well before you jump but honestly that's just like a nitpick that's pretty cool I like the design of the robot man I mean obviously the lower half I mean I'm, I'm a guy but like the head and stuff that jump looks kinda awesome man and the fact that it didn't have like real arms, it has robot arms, but for some reason it has like the legs of a woman. Uh, a voluptuous woman, I guess, but I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I guess that's like sci fi goodness. Yeah, sci fi goodness. I mean, I mean, we don't have the extra health to suicide down off of that. Uh, nothing in there these are save no oh, don't get up there uh, these are save disk uh, and we can go through here and grab ourselves a heat now that guy looks rather dangerous rather dangerous indeed hmm. all right so let's pull our gun out We'll reload Gears of War style. Uh, then we'll put our gun away and save. <laughs> Cause like, yeah. no, oh, well, we'll save on the table. Uh, all right. Ah, the old. I don't know. They were like three and a quarter inch floppy drives. I think that's what makes that sound. All right, so. There's like a shooting aspect to this game. I don't like it too much. Ooh, we wasted a lot. I don't like it too much. Okay, so there are parts on him that go, no. I've been trying to figure out where are they vulnerable at. It looks like one of her sisters. Uh, we've got the, yeah. Now, I don't know, there's a lot of shameless uh, <laughs> uh, gratification. Let's just call it gratification. Oh, look, a shortcut. Oh, no, it's the purple key, so we could go to the purple room, but uh, let's go look around over here a little bit more. Because, like I said, you get like limited saves, and you kind of don't want to uh, put your gun away. Because Man, ammunition is seriously scarce in this game. Oh, look. Oh, some health. That's good to know. I found this before, but I'm not really too sure what it is. I've, like, hit the switch on it, but it doesn't really tell me anything. Maybe we can go back and kind of come up on something. Um, our health is not looking too good. Not that it matters, you'll end up like seriously on like suicide missions in a little bit. Alright, 
So I think the only thing we really can do is go back to the purple room. Yeah. I guess that's if you don't want to crouch. <laughs> Man, seven bullets. I don't know if that's enough to get the mission done, honestly. Because, like... I don't know. It, it gets a little bit hectic back here in a minute, man. But we got the key card, and we're making impressive time, so it's not all that bad. It honestly could be worse. Alright, so I kind of done this one before. Um, yeah, that one's still graded. If I hit that, will it still be graded? Yeah. Like, what you can do, like, I can come over here and I can get down there, but ooh, shit. I'm not sure if I want to go. I kind of want to know what's down there, but I haven't found the, uh, the button f for that one yet. Yeah, and like, I don't know, it seems like at this point in the game, Haiti kind of gets, uh, really floaty controls. I don't know if it's artificial difficulty or what, but... But, like, the jumping mechanics get a bit more tedious from here on out. Oh, and we're at the show. So we got ourselves another save file over here.